This is not cheating. You don't need a software like Crosser X or Hotsight. You could literally draw it with a marker or even st transparent stickers. Or you can check where the leading is on the gun model by aiming down sight and taking a screenshot. So it's literally undetectable. Crytek says it's not bannable. It's a formula. It's a mathematical formula. If you're banned by thinking you probably don't want to play video games then. Today I'm going to talk about all the frequently asked questions about leading. This kind of information will help you lead better even if you have no intention of buying my crosser. Also it helps you understand why this is not cheating and why you can use stickers or markers and cannot be detected ever. This is you, this is your enemy, and your enemy is running left to right relative to you. This is the trigonometric leading information. You need to shoot here when the enemy is here. The information is on a plane, the hunter can go left and right and up and down, but the projection of this information onto your screen, it's only a line. Because when you take this information and you intersect the two planes, as you can see, you can retain the information on both the Y and X axis. You don't care if your hunter is flying or going underground, so only this information is necessary. What about explaining why it works over distance? Because obviously the more far away you are, the more time the bullet gets to hit the target, so the more distance the, the hunter is covering. But the thing is that the leading gets as large as the hunter gets smaller, but not just the hunter, everything projected on your screen over a distance gets smaller. That's why it's very confusing for people because they cannot imagine that the space projected on the screen gets smaller and smaller the more far away they are and the relationship between the space getting smaller over distance projected on your screen is the same relationship of a leading getting larger, so effectively it, it stays in place. That's why this works over distance. And it's not very easy to, to prove if you haven't ever done proofs, but you, 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 you could try to, to do some math exercises related to this. And what about the angle? Surely you cannot describe the angle with a simple crosser. Well, actually the angle, it's not that complicated because if you have the same distance when it's projected on your screen, uh, it's just smaller. So all you have to do is use a trigonometric function that uh, work for any direction on the unit circle for the hunter it was very easy to adjust for the angle. I just had to use a cosine and people don't need to cluster the crosser with multiple pixels for every single angle because a, lo a lot of degrees, like for example, a 20 degree deviation is not that much of a lead difference simply because of how the unit circle works. For example, a 60 degree uh, difference, which for us is a, a uh, the hunter running at a 30 degree angle, is, is alpha lead. This is what we call 90 degree angle. This, a 10 deviation in any side will be a 80 degree angle uh, here as well. 
it's just cl more clear for us. Like we we don't need the all the mathematical notation. We just need to say, oh, the hunter runs towards me, then it's at zero angle. The hunter runs horizontally, then it's 90. So I want to see a 10 degree, a 10 degree difference, then I plug in 80, you know, and it's nothing. 10 degree difference is almost no difference. I think in most, uh, in most unless you're using a scope, it's not even one pixel. So this is like one, two, three, four, five pixels difference, depending on your crosshair, obviously. I'm just saying that for the first 20 degrees of variation, it, it really is not that much of a difference. And using the unit circle and thinking about it, like looking at this, really improves your understanding of how to lead at an angle. By the way, a lot of you guys aren't subscribed. Man. Man, I'm I'm doing all this every day. Please, please subscribe. <laughs>